What's up everybody, Shannon here with Swamp Soccer Outdoors. Today, I got another review for y'all. And this time, well, Sacred Reg back out to me and uh, they sent me another tool, y'all. This time, it's the cordless head trimmer and grass shear. Now I know you're saying, what's that got to do with outdoors? Well, I got a few ideas and uh, I figured I'd throw it at you. So let's just jump into it. All right, y'all, so we're gonna jump into the unboxing portion of this video, and then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna do some testing. Now, I don't know if we're gonna do some extreme tests like we did with the Sacred Mini Chainsaw. Now, if y'all ain't seen that video, you're definitely gonna wanna go check it out. I put the old Sacred brand to the test, y'all. Seems to be doing pretty good. Kids, don't try this at home. I'll leave a link in the description of this video for the Sacred Mini Chainsaw Review. I think you're gonna like it. All right, y'all, so let's open up this box and let's see what we get inside. First thing we're gonna open up, is gonna be the actual tool itself. Now it comes with different blades. This is one blade, that'd be your grass clipper. You got the charger cord. You got your 20 volt lithium ion battery. You get your instruction manual. And here's the other hitch trimmer piece. Now I like this tool because it comes with multiple blades. Now this one here, that's your head trimmer. Nice metal blade, looks sharp, that's for sure. This here, this plastic guard, that'll keep it from uh, cutting anything up when you're storing it. And there's your grass clipper. It's got two buttons on both sides. Again, metal blades. This is where they attach to the bottom of your tool. Pretty neat. I like the grip. It's got a nice rubber grip. Press this. And that tilts your handle. So you can hold it up or you can have it straight. I like that. Now your battery attaches to the back. Make sure I don't cut no fingers off with this one. Now it's got some wide teeth if you can see that. I mean, look at that. So you can pull the trigger and it won't, it won't move until you press the safety lock forward. Safety lock forward. Seems pretty powerful. Let's attach the other attachment and see how it works. For safety reasons, you know, old Swamp Stalker Lup, I've cut a finger off, so I'm gonna disconnect the battery. They also give you this little handle you put around your wrist in case you're on a ladder or something, you don't drop it. I like that fact. That's pretty nice. So, so far, I'm liking it. Press the two buttons, pops right off. It's a little hard to get on. Battery on, safety. So everything works good. Well, let's take it outside and let's see what we can do with it. All right, so on the battery charger, you've got an LED light right here. So when you plug it in, it's gonna show red. That means the battery's charging. Then when it's done, it'll turn green. 
All right, so I put the battery on charge and I just want to show you that it's got a green LED right there that indicates that it's good to go and the battery's fully charged. All right, so we're outside and we are gonna test out these clippers, the two different blades. I'm gonna start off, and we're gonna trim these blackberry bushes over here. And I'm gonna start off with the hedge clipper one and then we're gonna try to clip the grass clipper. So I've already got the battery in. Safety, as I showed you in the beginning of the video and the trigger. So I'm gonna try to cut some of this bigger stuff. As you can see, I'm having a hard time. But it'll cut a lot of the smaller stuff. So you can't really, if you zoom in here, you're really not gonna be able to get anything very big in these holes, that diameter. It's just not going to cut it. So let's switch out blades and let's try the one with the wider blades on it. So as you see, that cuts that really good. You see how sharp that is? That cuts really good. So let's try one of these trees over here. I've got this shrub here, or it's, a, it's actually another shoot of a tree off of a stump. We try to cut it, and we'll zoom in here and see how big we can get. So, it'll cut some of the smaller branches. As you can see, it stops. It's not going to cut this bigger stuff. But... I got the Saker Mini Chainsaw, and that ought to do the trick. So I'm gonna trim a few more of these smaller branches up so I can see the main trunk, and then I'm gonna use the chainsaw. So now you can see I got a tree trunk open. And thanks to Saker, if y'all ain't checked out my review on the Saker Mini Chainsaw, definitely go over and check it out. And uh, this is the other little handy tool for doing the bigger stuff like this. Well, that made quick work for that. On to the blackberries. All right, so being that I'm dealing with blackberry plants, I'm gonna use a set of gloves. I've done got one little scratch already. Probably should have had the gloves on first and some safety glasses, but Swamp Stalker, you know, bad luck. You all know my vibe. All right, so now we got some gloves on. We're gonna use the grass trimmer blade now I'm purposely using this one on all the thicker stuff because I want to see if it dolls out before I start cutting any kind of grass or anything like that. We already know that it's going to cut the grass easy because I mean it's eating through this blackberry plants like it ain't nothing. So let's get started on it and uh, we'll see how we do.
got nine minutes of it, so it lasted about 10 minutes. Well, we're almost 10 minutes in, battery's dead. So let's check out the sacred chainsaw and let's see if the batteries are interchangeable. All right, so I got the Saker mini chainsaw and it's also a 20 volt, 1.5 amp hour battery. Fits. It's also a 20 volt max. The other battery is too, so shouldn't be no issues. Well, it works. So let's see if we can finish the job while the other battery's charging. So I do like that, that the batteries are interchangeable if you have multiple tools. So I've got at least an extra battery now. My other gloves weren't working so well, so I got some a little bit heavier duty gloves that the briars can't go through. Now these vines, the reason we're cutting them down is because they're diseased and it's a disease that can't be cured. So we're gonna go ahead and just chop them down for now and, and see. Oh, I got a little bit left, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim it up with a chainsaw and be done with this mess and get in the house and cool off until we got a few more bushes we're gonna trim and then we're gonna move to the, uh, my ideas for the trimmer for some outdoor uses. So, as I started to walk off, <laughs> batteries started working. So what I'm thinking is if this blade jams, You'll hear it click and I'll take it over there and see if we can reenact it and see if maybe it'll do it again. But that battery or these blades hit something a little bigger, like a stick or something or a bigger part of the bush. And it basically kind of like the mini chainsaw did when it got hot, it overheated and it shut off. Well, I'm thinking this is doing the same thing. So let me see if I can finish this out real quick. All right, so we're gonna try trimming another one of these bushes that we have here around the house. Uh, it's a little bit thicker of a vine. So I'm gonna try to use this blade and try to get some of the smaller stuff. And then I may have to switch to this if this won't cut it. So let's do that real quick. So that blade does pretty good on all the small stuff. I'm gonna put the other blade back on and see if I can cut some of the bigger stuff. Now hopefully I can get it to lock back up and shut off and we'll know that's what it is. I don't think it was the battery. See, it just done it again. So wait a second and let it reset. Maybe take the battery out again. Nope. Just wait a second and see what happens. There you go. Starts right back up. So let's keep going and see if we can finish this up. And again, this is just a this this blade is actually for grass and I'm using it to cut this big stuff, so hopefully when I go to cut some grass with it. We'll test and see how how sharp it stays. I'm gonna change out the blades. It cuts through this stuff really well. With this small blade, or these small bushes. everybody so i really got to question my execution on this whole video thing you know i ended up my thought was i was gonna go out and do a little bit of backyard uh manicuring with the whole sacred hedge trimmer and uh i think i got duped on this one because the wife ended up conning me into doing a whole bunch of other bushes and well i ended up spending a whole day 
just doing yard work. And y'all seen how I looked in that video? I mean, it looked like I was at a wet t-shirt contest. So I'm not gonna go out and, and shoot any more footage. I think you can actually see how well this saw really works. So my original intention was to do a little bit of yard work and go out and do uh, the outdoor portion of it. Some of the things that I thought that, you know, this hedge trimmer would actually be good for as far as being outdoor related. So I figured instead of trying to make this video any longer than it already is, I'm just gonna tell you my thoughts on it. I think that, you know, this would be a great addition to have with the Saker Electric Mini Chainsaw. You know, both of them, you can pack them up, put them in a book bag, and you can go out and trim up, you know, trees around your tree stand, cut shooting lanes through the higher grass. I think this would be a great addition to have, you know, if you're going to be hunting out of a ground blind or even sitting in a chair on the ground. You know, you could use this saw to trim up some of the branches and the taller grasses and stuff. So you can put your blind down in there and then you won't have any little sticks sticking up to make noise, you know, if you're moving around. So them is just a few of the outdoor things that I, you know, I was kind of wanting to show y'all, but didn't get a chance. As far as the mini hedge clipper goes, I think, you know, there was a few little things that I didn't like about it. You know, one of the things, this safety button right here, you can see it doesn't stick up very, very far past the handle. So I found it a little bit more difficult when I was using the bigger set of gloves to actually find a button and keep it pressed while I was pulling the trigger. Um, other than that, I mean, that's just one of the things. I mean, it's it's a minor, minor detail in my opinion. Um, it, it's not a make it or break it kind of deal because like I said, this is, this is kind of like for minor work and you know, maybe you don't wear heavy gloves like I was, you know, with them blackberry bushes, but this blade cut really well. Um, the other blade, you know, the hedge trimmer part, like I mentioned in the video, the holes, you know, or the gaps between each teeth, um, uh, wasn't very big. So you're not really going to be able to cut a whole lot of stuff, you know, as far as big diameter. Um, small stuff, man, both these blades cut remarkable. As you've seen in the last part of the video, I cut a bunch of grass with it. And after cutting all them shrubs and bushes and blackberry plants, this thing didn't miss a beat. As far as the safety feature goes or, or whatever was going on, I'm going to assume it's a safety feature, just like the mini chainsaw had when it, when motor got hot, you know, it shut down. No big deal. I mean, you're not really going to be abusing this thing like I do in my videos and, uh, you're not, like I said, you're not really going to be cutting a whole lot of big stuff with it for it to get hung up. And if it does and it shuts off, just wait. It's less than a minute and it'll it, it'll basically start right back up for you. So just a few little minor things. But other than that, I say it's a great, you know, a great little uh, addition to have, especially if you're into hunting. And uh, even if you're going out fishing around ponds and stuff, you got some private ponds. That'd be great. You can clear out the, around the edge of the banks and and. uh you ain't got to worry about carrying gas and everything, you know, all you carry this thing and put it in a backpack and it's good to go. So this is my final thoughts on the, on the uh, hedge clippers. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'm going to leave a link down in the description of this video for the uh, hedge clipper and the mini chainsaw. If you ain't checked out my video, I'll leave a link also down for the Saker mini chainsaw uh, video review. And uh, like I said, I think you're going to like it. So you're going to want to go check that one out. It was a little more intense than this video was. But anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed it, and we'll catch y'all next adventure. Bye, y'all.